This is the RTX 4090, the most powerful graphics card yet, and today we will unbox it and run some tests on it. Then we will see how it compares to a new Dual 3090 build that I will be putting together using my case from the Ultimate Windows 98 build video. As you can see, this card is very thick, and it's bigger than this green bag of Doritos. With the sheer unfiltered power of this video card, you can finally run Shrek Noir RTX at 8K resolution, or Solitaire at 1 million FPS. The price tag may seem steep to those of you watching, but I assure you, this is the card you need. At least if you can obtain it for MSRP. I paid $1,600 for this one. Don't entertain scalpers. They could suck my... Now. I'm going to construct our dual 3090 PC. And then we'll run some benchmarks such as Shrekmark, Duke Nukem 3D, 3DS Max rendering tests, Shrek Noir RTX Alpha, Minecraft, Sirius Sam Second Encounter, Sirius Sam RTX, and Doom Eternal. Lastly, I will show some footage of the new tech demo, Shrek Noir 95 RTX, running on the incredible powerhouse that is the 4090. For our build today, I chose to stay within a reasonable budget of $3,500. Because to run the new Shrek game, it is recommended to have a minimum of one 3090 graphics card. Shrek Noir RTX is very CPU intensive, so it will use all 16 cores of our Ryzen 9 5950X processor, guaranteed.
Now that we've constructed this behemoth, I need to set up my 4090 system. Okay guys, it's important to remember that size does matter. Some 4090 cards, even this relatively small one, will literally make your case. My solution was to remove both my cooler and my front fans to wedge this monster into the case. This of course worked because I did my measurements before buying this car. I knew it would at least barely fit. As you can see, it literally rams into the metal of the case. A perfect fit. No movement at all. No sag to be seen. For you many ITX dudes, you're probably going to struggle to fit this one in. Anyhow, on to the benchmarks. As you can see here, Trekmore RTX runs incredible on 49. Doesn't seem to care what resolution you run this game at. It obliterates. And on the dual 3090 setup, it actually is making use of the dual GPU. In 3DS Max, the dual GPUs actually do work pretty good here, but they don't seem to quite top what the 4090 can throw at us. In Duke Nukem 3D, we get completely insane FPS out of the 4090. The highest I've ever seen on Duke Nukem. 3090 dual setup, the second card hardly does anything. In Doom Eternal, the dual cards actually do offer us some performance gain. But not very much. Do note that if you don't have the proper SLI configuration, NVLink does not perform correctly. There are ways to get around this, which I use in this video, but they're very hacky, so I don't recommend them for long term use. In most applications, dual GPU is just fine, and they don't have to be an NVLink. So, for 3DS Max, we actually seem to get a better gain from no NV link. Oddly, maybe it's just this board. If you ever get a board, make sure it has an SLI certification, otherwise you'll have to use hacky methods. Anyhow, that's the end of our video. You can see that the 4090 is definitely a must buy. This card is incredible, especially if you're doing 3D rendering, video editing, or anything that may actually stress out any other video card. 
you're doing gaming, it seems that it also obliterates everything else that exists, even dual 3090s. If you like my stuff, feel free to support me on Patreon or grab my music on Spotify or iTunes. There's definitely better games for you to test, however, Shrek is specifically optimized for dual GPU, so we figured that the Shrek tests would be fair game. But as you can see, even with the dual GPU optimization, it stands no chance for the 4090. Closing notes. If you can't find a 4090, 3090s are dirt cheap right now. I got mine for 930 a piece. And that was new. In the used market, they're going for even lower. You might even be able to snag some for dirt cheap that some guy was mining with. As long as you know how to repaste the cards and put new pads on them, they're probably just fine. Doing 3D graphics, the more GPU horsepower you can get, the better. But also, the more CPU you can get, too, sometimes. If you're interested in having me do any work for you in terms of 3D graphics, voiceovers, or video editing, I do freelance work. Also, join our Discord. In the Discord, you can find a lot of incredible resources a lot of different things. In fact, it's a bit overwhelming. But, uh, links are in the description. Also, if you want to buy anything that you see in this video, I've put some links in the description. 